Galnet News Digest, 20th of June 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, dirty fuel rats force fuel on helpless victims. Shaking down the angels. Powerplay Galactic Cup. Raiding the Galnet Archives. Dirty rats force fuel on helpless victims. The fuel rats, those cute little fellows who serve the same purpose as a highly mobile scoopable star and who are well known for helping out commanders, turned evil this week after a prolonged period during which no calls for help whatever were received. Fuel Rat Dispatcher Commander Daoud Al-Zark put out a plea to commanders to fly more dangerously. It's been hours without a call, he said. Too many of you have learned the wisdom of equipping a fuel scoop and filtering your route to use scoopable stars. The rats are starting to hand out melee weapons in chat. It's getting ugly. Please, de-equip your fuel scoops, set reckless routes, fly to Hutton in an eagle. Anything helps. When that appeal failed, it's rumoured that groups of fuel rats started patrolling in engineered fer de lances, interdicting commanders and refuelling them at gunpoint, using threatening language such as Congratulations, you are being rescued, please do not resist. And Yar, this is a fuelery. Cut your engines and submit to being refuelled. Or die. Shaking down the angels. Following last week's successful construction of the printworks for the Sagittarius I faction in Malaise, this week it was the turn of Commander Joshua Maser's Evangeline's Elite Expeditionary Force to benefit from the kindness of Pilots Federation members who have built a new megaship for the Force. To be called the EFS Archangel after the Force's spiritual leader, Archangel Evangeline, the megaship will remain based in the Shanna Bay system until someone can work out how to fire up its massive hyperdrives. Over the coming weeks it'll be undertaking a short intra-system tour as its so-called shakedown voyage. Let's hope that none of the important bits fall off. Powerplay Galactic Cup Here are the latest scores from the Powerplay Galactic Cup. Ashling Duval, 1,658. Edmund Mahan, 1,299. Arissa Lavigny Duval, 1,352. Felicia Winters, 916. Denton Petraeus, 760. Zachary Hudson, 750. Li Yong Ri, 437. Zemina Torval, 532. Pranavantal, 432. Arkham Delane, 593. And Yuri Grom, playing by himself, 700. And 98. Raiding the Galnet Archives. It's easy to forget how far we've come since the invention of the frameshift drive. Let's take a moment to look back at what was happening on this day over the past four years. On the 20th of June 3301, we were just getting over the scare about Emperor Hengist Duval's health. The Emperor had been attacked and poisoned a month earlier, but Chancellor Blaine explained to the Senate that the Emperor was well on the road to recovery. Blaine also praised Princess Lavigny for her tireless pursuit and elimination of the conspirators. Hail the Emperor, bask in his glory. A year later, in 3302, the galaxy was a hive of activity. 
The Crab Nebula expedition had just departed from Mitterrand Hollow. The search for the missing Jacques station had been called off. Cannon condemned the deployment of Farragut battlecruisers in Marope, and the Formidine rifters were appealing for help to search the area beyond the Heart and Soul Nebulae for what they vaguely described as something beyond the galactic arm that may change humanity's view of the cosmos. A few days later, an unknown group called the EG Pilots won their wildcard entry into an event called The Dangerous Games Rise to Power. On the 20th of June 3303, Galactic leaders held press conferences to address the confirmation that mysterious ships seen in Maya and elsewhere in the Pleiades were Thargoid in origin, which turns out to be why those Farragut battlecruisers had been deployed there the previous year. President Hudson said, Prepare for war! Emperor Levigny Duval, who replaced the fully recovered but by now completely stone-dead Emperor Hengist, said, Don't panic! And Prime Minister Mahan said, Now, let's not assume that the Thargoids are hostile. Finally, on the 20th of June 3304, billionaire Zachary Rackham stumped up to fund the building of shipyards at a number of planetary bases in Colonia, a place which had been founded after Jacques Station had been found after all. The building of these bases finally allowed commanders to base their fleet at their factional headquarters in the region, something the Pilots' Federation had previously completely overlooked. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the old news because there isn't any new news this week. 